Sanitation District 1 and the HOA say they're working to relocate condo owners threatened by the potential for a possible partial building collapse. The hillside is slipping amid a sewer expansion and has caused damage like this. Kelly Granger says she spoke with the relocation specialist but is hesitant. I told him that I was staying for the foreseeable future until I learned if they were going to help us financially with moving storage of our belongings mm -hmm. and how long the offer to relocate us would be for. A spokesman for SD1 says the amount of help will be case by case, but that all residents have an opportunity to relocate without facing a financial hardship. Local 12 asked SD1 how it defines financial hardship. Right now, uh, we're calm, confident in telling uh, those residents, yes, you, we're going to cover the costs associated uh, with your relocation until we can get this, uh, this rectified and make it safe for you to return to your home. Residents aren't sure if they'll be put up somewhere or should wait to be compensated. Our number one priority is safety and getting getting folks you know, the opportunity to relocate. And frankly, we'll, we're going to worry about the who pays and how they pay and when we pay. Uh, we're going to worry about that uh, tomorrow uh, down the road. SD1 structural engineer recommends building a wall to stabilize the soil. I'm wondering who's going to incur that cost. Is it the HOA? Is it SD1? Residents? I would say that'll be a conversation for a different day. Uh, we're going to we're going to have to figure out who's going to incur the costs of uh, fixing this problem. From the, the call, do you feel a little bit more secure, a little bit better after talking with the representative? Honestly, I feel the same. I still have no trust. From breaking news to feel good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.